What's up, fuckers? <laughs> the world's ending. Uh, the world is over, and this is all we have left to do. Yep. We're watching Attack of the Clones. Kill me now. Yeah, fuck it all. Uh, Why not? <laughs> Why the fuck not? <sighs> we said we were going to do it, so here we are doing it. Yep, might as well get it over before our lives end, and yep. we all succumb to the, co <laughs> the coronavirus. Yeah. Oh, God. So if you want to sync yours up, as soon as the Star Wars music comes in, we'll say blah or something, or we'll say start, and then you sync it up. Or we could just simply so, say, put the timestamp to zero and press play whenever we say go. That, that could also work. Yeah, that, that's. I think that's the most accepted <laughs> way to do audio commentaries like this. Yeah. So if we want to press play on a three, two... One. Okay. And off we go. Off we rock and or roll. Uh, ironically yeah, enough, I'm something. watching this on Disney Plus. Oh, I'm not. I'm streaming the Christ out of this. I refuse to pay for this movie. <laughs> so I'm watching a pirated version. Oh, you filthy bastard. Well, I already own the DVD, so... Well, that's a bit loud. I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> uh, so this is maybe the worst film ever made? Ooh, ooh. Quite possibly. Again, it's all down to personal preference. For me, I think this one's alright, because I never saw this in the cinema. I had no interest in seeing this in the cinema. Yeah. So... I, it just kind of washed over me, and then by the time Revenge of the Sith was coming out, it was getting really big, and I decided, screw it, I'll give Attack of the Clones a go. Uh, there's a lot of guff in this one, there's a lot of boring shit, but like, I love the action oh, yeah. sequences, I love the fights, I think it's... If you were to cut out all the boring romance crap, I think this would be the perfect movie for any 12-year-old. Yeah, probably. I... Cause, well, this has my favourite scene of any Star Wars movie now, which is the Yoda Count Dooku fight. I think that is just so fucking ridiculous. It is like, really? like literally when we get to it, it's it's like an old man fights a green Tasmanian devil with lightsabers. <laughs> it's it's literally it's fucking ludicrous. Uh, I love the fight before it though. I love Obi Wan and Anakin the, versus Dooku. Yeah. I think that's great, and I love the direction in it as well, where you see the red and the blue of the lightsabers go around them, and that's it. The, the only lighting yeah. is the lightsaber. But like, stuff yeah. like this is good. I think this is the only Star the Wars... commentaries. Sorry. Uh, uh, stuff like this is cool, because I think this is the only Star Wars yeah. movie where the camera pans up following the crawl. Instead of down. Yeah, instead of down. I like the ship. I think it looks pretty badass. Yeah. Uh, and I like looks the... Like a it's kind of flanked by all the little Naboo fighters as well. Yeah. I mean, there's some really great things about these prequels, but they're mostly crap. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all up to the opinion of the viewer, but if you go into yeah. it looking for negatives, you'll find shitloads mean... of negatives. But if you sit back and appreciate some of the positives, like, look at that, like, you've got buildings sticking out of the clouds. Yeah. It's almost like he did that in Empire. Yeah, but like it's a lovely little callback <laughs> to that. And obviously yeah, with uh, the updated effects and stuff, like it looks pretty badass. Yeah. <sighs> and then the boring crap begins. <laughs> yeah, then they start talking. Which is what most of the movie is. Oh dear lord! I I can't remember if this one's like got better direction in it than the first one, in terms of like no, how they lay out still... scenes. I doubt it because it's still George Lucas. Like I know there's it's either in this one or it's in Episode Three whenever they're walking with Yoda down a hallway and it looks like a PS2 game. I think that's Episode Three. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. He's in the floaty chair. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the next one. <laughs> His floating pram. <laughs> Look at this shit as well. Like, I'm so sorry I failed you. You're her decoy. You literally yeah. performed your job perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. She's not even the queen anymore. Why does she need one? 
Uh, I don't know. Some bullshit to get the plot going. <laughs> oh, no. Senator Amidala. Well, I suppose it's because she's a senator now. And, like, I, like, I don't get the politics. For, the, for all the politics that George Lucas injected into these three movies, what is the structure here? Because you have a queen and she speaks in the Senate, then you have a senator. So... So is, yeah. is the senator the one that's in the big mushroom deck building all the time? <laughs> or, I, like, what the fuck? It, like, they never I explain it. I have no it. idea. Like, that's because he, he had too many ideas, and they all cost a fuck. Look at this shit as well. Like, this is like watching The Apprentice in space. You're fired, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> technically this was the introduction of uh, CGI Yoda as well, because they went back and, yeah. and redid him in episode one from that yeah. puppet that looked like a gremlin with some it's type human. of cancer, uh, yeah. and they've now got this shit as well, and I'm so confused as to what the fuck is going on already in this, like, yep. like what the fuck is, I... like it's gone from, oh my god, a ship just blew up to let's sit around a room and talk. Yep, that's what the rest of the movie's going to be, basically. Oh, fuck, just start the Clone Wars already. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, I, I don't get what was so hard about making these movies. Episode 1 is completely wasted. It's the, it's the one that looks the most yeah. like Star Wars, but it's completely a waste of fucking time. This one is pretty much the same. And then episode 3, I ki kind of like, it still falls to the same issues that these Not first great. two movies have. But it's still got like a darker tone to it. It's got more action yeah. in it, and it's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot better paced. But I genuinely yeah. think with episode one, we should have met Anakin as like a, a fucked up fourteen, fifteen year old. At the end of that movie, the Clone Wars should have began, and then episode two is just the Jedi are fucked. They're busy trying to fight the Clone Wars that they don't have time to even train Anakin as a Jedi. And then by the time we get around to episode three, he's fallen to the dark side. Yeah. Have you been watching the Clone Wars on Disney? Uh, I haven't. No, like there's just there's something about Clone Wars. Like everyone loves it. I like I've dipped in and out of it, and I like it too. But there's just something weird about the animation that kind of hits me wrong. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I've I've never liked the animation style, but the story. Oh, there goes those. Crisps again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've never liked the animation, but the stories, most of them are pretty good. Um, the first few seasons aren't particularly great, but they hit their stride after a few. So, I mean, if have you seen Rebels? I have seen Rebels, yeah. I like Rebels a lot. I have not seen Rebels. <laughs> No, oh, I enjoyed it. Like, I mean, I like the uh, the animation style. I like all the characters, and I like the plot. Yeah. Whereas with Cl Clone Wars, felt more kid friendly. Whereas with the Rebels, it felt like more kind of teenager, young adult sort of territory. Clone Wars definitely starts more for kids, but it ends up getting quite adult, I would say. So, if you want to start like maybe three seasons oh, in or something, oh bollocks, there he is. <laughs> oh fuck off, oh, no. back to your swamp, you, fu you swamp, you fucking orange cunt. <laughs> oh no. At least he's not in this one that much. I right, think fuck that out of a chase there. Oh. Dear God. No, these are Jedi arriving. Oh, Bodo. <laughs> fuck off. Go on, there you go, you dicks. Like, stand around in the background. Fuck off. Make yourself look busy. Yeah. It's uh, Ian McGregor there, doing his best impression yep. of a 90s Noel Edmonds. <laughs> you probably... Yeah, it does look like him. Do you actually know who Noel Edmonds is? Yeah, I think he's a comedian, isn't he? Uh, kind of. He was more like a TV presenter over here. Oh, no. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Noel Fielding. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, like if Noel Fielding's hair wasn't matte black. Yeah. Yeah. We well, know, honestly, look up Noel Edmonds. 
1990s Noel Edmonds, because he's got the mullet and everything. What the fuck oh. were they on when they came up with this design? Like, was... I thought he was supposed to be Jesus. It, no, he's Jesus. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that's that's um... what he should have called himself, not Ben Kenobi. Just like Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Kenobi. It's it's his uh, Latin American brother, the half brother. Yeah. <laughs> in all That's fairness, why nobody suspected him. In all fairness, though, right? For as shit an actor he is in these, Hayden Christensen is a beautiful man. Look at him; he looks like a fucking Ken doll. I think he looks better in the next one. There's something very. I don't know, radiant about him in this one. <laughs> like, he, he, he looks like every single scene he's in has been photoshopped. Do you think maybe he's radiating the force? Did he just say what I think he said? Uh, I don't know, some bullshit. I wasn't listening. Jar Jar just said he was... Jar Jar just said he was busting with happiness seeing anything. Was he? Well, I hope he brought some yeah. fucking tissues with him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at the fucking outfit he's wearing too Jesus Christ You're the most annoying dickhead I've ever seen Like fuck off Why are you even here Yeah off you fuck Bye bye Pointless I love that fucking car though I love that ship the Little speeder that yeah. she's got there Cause the doors are like a Lamborghini Where they open like scissors <laughs> Also, what the fuck is the point in this? So you're telling me Django Fett, a bounty hunter, a guy who was hired to kill someone, has in turn yeah. himself hired someone else. Who's using slugs to kill. Oh yeah, these are the uh, the butt slugs. Because mm -hmm. like, whenever they come into the room, it's just like... And into the room they go. <laughs> Wow, what a great line of dialogue. There are many other ways to kill a senator. Oh, fucking hell. It'll be amazing, right? Um, do you know the scene in Batman Forever, whenever he comes to the door and she's there under the bed, like under the covers, and she's completely naked? Like she gets up and, yeah. and puts like the satin covering around her, and like she's just, it's so skin tight yeah. and she looks gorgeous. They should have done that with Natalie Portman in this. Go on, give, give the dad something. Come on! <laughs> Isn't that what Black Swan was for? You would have liked to have hoped so, wouldn't you? Fuck, mate. Like, <laughs> but I mean in this. Like, it's just such a sexless, empty universe. <laughs> like, Look at the Except way that, that Han and Leia get on in episode 5. That's, yeah. that's proper romance. You know the two of them want to fuck the shit out of each other. In this one, they yeah, just stand never... around. Like, and <laughs> fucking Anakin comes out with all this fucking shite. Oh, my love for you is like the sun. It burns when I pee, or I don't know, whatever the fuck he comes out with. <laughs> utter like wank. Singing. Like, this is the shit that a 12 year old comes out No, not even a 12 year old. When I was 12, I roughly knew how to speak to women. But, like, this is shit that, like, a 9 or 10 year old comes out. Look at me, I'm yeah. gonna do a cartwheel. Oh, your beauty's like the sun. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe he hasn't actually aged in the ten years between this one and the last one. Mentally, at least. No, mentally, he's just challenged. <laughs> That's why he becomes... Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna steal... Uh, gonna steal a line here from Valverde Broadcasting. Look at this shit. It's just like... It's like doing a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you have to wipe afterwards. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they are proper rank as well. You're not wrong. It's not. What is wrong with George Lucas? So many things. So many things. Oh, you know what's wrong with George Ru Lucas? Rick McCallum. Definitely, yeah. Uh, it's so dense. Yeah, I know you are, <laughs> mate. What about the movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like poetry, it rhymes. Oh, Christ above. Like how self I think I may have gone too far. <laughs> yeah, no shit, George. <laughs> <laughs> McCallum was the one that let you do it. 
Oh, also, wait to say this as well. Wait, wait to say this with uh, Anakin's lightsaber. Whenever he comes into the room to cut them in half, <clears throat> they had to extend the length of the lightsaber just so it would cut Did the this. fucking um, <laughs> like actually make contact with the little bug things. Like, imagine That's if he bad. missed. It just it would have yeah. cut her into three bits. Look, look, look how long that lightsaber yes. is. They definitely did. See, size does matter. Yes. Yeah, fuck it. Why it's not? Obi-Wan. <laughs> he doesn't like flying. Why is he the one that does that? Like, later on in this scene, he calls Anakin reckless, but he yeah. just jumped out of a fucking window onto a robot. <laughs> That's everyone's reaction to this fucking movie. They just want to jump out a fucking window. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, I love that. He's just like instantly, yeah, fuck it, jump out a window. Because <laughs> why the fuck not? Oh, I like that one too. You could get a toy of that, couldn't you? That little speeder. I think so. I know there's a Lego one. Oh. For such a populated planet, there's very little that goes on. Yeah, I mean... I don't understand also how does the traffic operate in this? Like how do you I how do you no know idea. that that's a lane? Like surely wouldn't it just be like a was... ton of speeders all crashing into each other? Yeah. What we've learned so far in watching this for the last fifteen minutes is that nothing should work properly. No, it's just all nonsense. Like what the fuck is that? How is that supposed to line anything up to shoot it if it's all moving independently? No idea. Although, and I, why can't we just? <laughs> I, I, I do love the the sound mix in this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, like yeah. the sound of the speeders, especially her speeder, because it's actually a guitar. And like whenever you see it, Is like it? dip down, you can hear it go. Meow. Yeah, but it's all based on uh, string instruments. Huh? There you go. And apparently there's a Millennium Falcon or some shit knocking about in here being chased by TIE Fighters, but sure, there's that much crap going on, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's so dense. Oh, uh, every frame of painting, eh? <laughs> Trouble is, <laughs> those paintings have come from the asylum walls. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't they just go back to matte paintings? See, there's something about matte painting that I just find so classy. Like, imagine, right, if you got, if you actually got matte painters in, scanned those into a computer, and then made up these backgrounds. Yeah. And also, what the fuck is going on with all that, like, is that lava or some shit? Like, why is the ground glowing orange? I don't know. That, um... Like, what is that? Who knows? It's probably, like, street markets. But, like, that bright... I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Honestly, like, get George Lucas on the phone. Ask him, like, you know, time to a chair. Put bamboo splints between his fucking fingernails until he talks. <laughs> <sighs> why, why is there fire? Uh, see, this I can get, because this is like uh, the oil plants, like you would say in Chicago. Like, that's cool. The, that's cool, what? I get that. Because it's burning off the excess. The but why do they use oil as fuel? I'm sure they don't. It's probably some space mumbo jumbo bollocks version of it. This I don't understand. Like, I mean, you shoot that, uh, and suddenly it starts up like a generator thing, and then it hits them, but they're yeah. fine. Power couplings. What's the point? I, I don't get it. It's it's like the fucking thing that connects the the, the pod racers together in episode yeah. one. Yeah. But I mean, what was the point of putting it there if they were just gonna fly through it? I know. And they're completely fine. It's, yeah, it's like, pointless tension. Like, if, if that happened in real life, they would have strokes by now. Like, the, oh, yeah. like they'd have Bell's palsy or some shit. <laughs> Anakin would look like he did at the end of Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, just absolutely burned to shit. Yeah. Oh. And why is... Why this... Why is there this? When you have hovering hovercrafts that can fly anywhere, why why is that a thing? 
because I'm sure there's some explanation for it oh, on oh, Wikipedia. Oh. What, what's this? Like, there's a bit coming up here where you see her now she's got the mask off. She turns to the side and she turns into her like changeling form and then switches yeah. back really quick. And I like it, but it's also deeply confusing. <laughs> it's also a really bad effect. Oh, and also if she's a changeling, why the fuck couldn't she lose them? Like, whenever she lands and goes into the bar, why didn't she just change the appearance on her face and then fuck off? Well, because I guess she'd be wearing the same clothes. Even still, she would look entirely <laughs> different. Yeah. The answer to that is George Lucas is an idiot. Woo! That's cool. I like that. Yeah. You know, he finished writing the script for the, the draft of the script a week before they started filming. Isn't this the one where, like, they were already filming and he turned in the final draft? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. I remember seeing, like, some behind-the-scenes bullshit where, like, they were already working on Yoda and everything. And he comes in yeah. and goes, there you go, there's the, the final draft of the script. Oh. There we go. Yeah. That's so creepy. I mean, he didn't want to make them. <laughs> I'm going to have to eBay this, because I want those fucking toys. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, there was a Lego version that had that one and Sam Wessel's one, but I don't know of any other ones. What the fuck would you call those? Speeders? Speeder I guess. toys. I'm look this up. No exact match is found. I found the Lego. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Hasbro. Hasbro, yes, Queen, they did it. They made them because I love the the orange, the yellowy one because it looks like. Do you know, like? Uh, I think it's supposed to be an homage to American Graffiti. Those fifties soft top cars. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. That's kind of fucked. That looks heavily played with. Um, <laughs> I wonder if you can find your woman's one. They can't be very expensive. Uh, that one I was just looking at. Five ninety nine. Then again, it is kind of fucked. Yeah. There's one there. Six ninety nine. That looks a bit better. Because nobody wants them. Because the movie's. Bad. I know. I want the green one though. There's just something very, yeah. very sexy about the green one. Ah, uh, they don't. Have That's that. why I mean. Most of the designs for these movies are fantastic, but they're just not used for. Yeah. Like, there'll be entrance to the nightclub and all. And that looks like a real yeah. set, too. That doesn't look like shitty green yeah. screen. It probably is a real set. It's probably just a facade. But... Yeah, it's highly enhanced by CGI. Like, you can tell there's, there's something quite green about it. Yeah. So that doesn't look good. <laughs> no. I don't like Anakin's lightsaber in this one, either. Well, that's why it gets destroyed. <laughs> Good. It's fucking horrible looking. Look, there's there was an ass just there. I know. I like that. <laughs> there's there's the sexy. Ah, uh, yeah. Show me more alien bombs. It ain't. <laughs> I think you'd have to go to rule thirty four for that. Just get my phone here. Quick little Google. <laughs> I like that it's some sort of sports bar as well. Yeah, yeah. It's probably a gay bar. Hey, you want to buy some death sticks? <laughs> I don't want to sell you any death sticks. I want to sticks. go home and rethink my life. <laughs> I want to go home and rethink my life. He looks like David Schneider as well. I don't want to sell you death sticks. Uh. <laughs> you, Ewan McGregor is an underused actor in these. Oh yeah, uh, check out his, um, his little Jedi braid thing that he's got going on because it keeps swapping oh, yeah. shoulders. Does it? Yeah, in between cuts. So like, it'll be on one shoulder one minute and then on the other shoulder the next. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of oh. pointless continuity error trivia for you. Yeah, fuck your arm. 
completely bloodless. Oh, was that Anthony Daniels? I think it was, yeah, yeah, I remember he got like a little cameo in this. I think George Lucas and his daughters have a cameo in episode three. Yeah, they're at the opera thing. Yeah. Like, look at this like, nice little dirty back alleyway, like, this is Star Wars. Yeah. None of this glossy, everything's class shit. Like, look, you can see like rubbish and all in the background. Yeah. That looks great. Could you imagine if all three of these movies followed this design aesthetic? Well, John Favreau was, or I don't, he might still be doing it, the, the Coruscant Underworld, whatever it was, the yeah, TV that's, show. Yeah, that's been back and forth and for a good couple of years yeah. now. Because I think George Lucas wanted to do one back when he made these, but, but hey, The Mandalorian's good, so. Fuck The Mandalorian, is so, so beautiful. Yeah. It's all real sets, mostly. <laughs> I can't remember, and like... Miniatures. Whenever we did episode one, had all the episodes of Mandalorian come out yet? I... Mm, no, I don't think so. Because I know it was like a week before episode nine came out. Whenever we did episode one, yeah. so... Like, it's just been fucking brilliant. I was waiting for the moment where it all just fell to shit, and it didn't. Like, the last episode was yeah. fucking spectacular. It doesn't lose anything as it can. It just gets better. It does. They they started with a firm base and they just kept adding and adding every week. Like I genuinely can say, I cannot wait for series two. Oh, well, it was supposed to come out in October, but given the virus, it's unlikely now. Yeah, I don't even think they'd started filming before the virus stuff hit. Uh, I think they had just started filming, but yeah, like it was very early into production. Yeah. Um, cause, well, obviously they pushed back Black Widow, but, um, they're probably going to have to push back the Disney Plus Marvel stuff now as well. I think they are, cause I think Falcon and Winter Soldier has been pushed back. WandaVision's definitely been pushed back, because I think it ties yeah. into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. But obviously Which it's currently back. doesn't even have a director. They need to get Sam Raimi in there, ASAP. Yeah. Just get Sam Raimi to do the next Spider-Man. Fuck yes. No. He actually understands the character. Sam Raimi doing a live-action version of End of the Spider-Verse with Maguire, yeah. Garfield, and Holland. Uh, we could probably get rid of Garfield. No! This is the fucking scene! Look at this shit! Oh, it is too! Look at this shit! <laughs> fucking hell! <sighs> Star Trek the motion picture looks better than this. Oh, Jesus, wept. Oh, look, they have to stop because there's only so much room on the green screen. Yeah. They look so fucking confused. <laughs> Just this sea of it. I bet you, right, that fucks with you on a psychological level. Oh, yeah. Imagine that, a room of lurid green and you have to act in that. Yeah. Like, look at McGregor, he looks fucked. At least with, like, I don't know if you've seen any of the behind-the-scenes for Endgame, but even on the green screen, they have actual sets on there still. Mm -hmm. Which is how it should be done. No, in all fairness, I was watching Endgame again the other day, because, obviously, why yeah. not? Disney Plus. Yeah. The effects aren't that great. They're, they're not, um... They're not exactly groundbreaking. And I know, I know, for the four people that listen to this, I'll get a lot of shit for it, but hear me out. Like, <laughs> at, in the end, during that big fuck-off battle sequence, you can see what's real and what's CGI. You can see yeah. where they've built, like, actual bits of rubble and stuff of the old Avengers headquarters. But if you look in the background, it's all, like, it just looks so out of place. But... The first time you watched it, you didn't notice it. No, the first time I watched it, I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, Captain America!" But isn't that the point? Like, you have to suspend the disbelief. No, you do. But I've been mean, like watching it again the, the other day. It was just yeah. like, I'm not feeling it. Like, I felt it yeah. a hell of a lot more when I saw it in the cinema. But watching it just on the TV, there's just something just that doesn't add up about it. Maybe it's 
Yeah, maybe it's something to do with the big screen. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> maybe she's born with it. <laughs> oh, fuck me, let's hope not. She looks like she's doing an amazing impression of Yoda there. <laughs> So it's like Yoda fucked oh. Chewbacca, and this is the offspring. Oh, that's why he was on Kashyyyk in the next one. Dirty bastard! <laughs> All of that ketamine in his two thousand one Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. wouldn't it be great if Samuel L. Jackson showed up in the next season of Mandalorian? Oh, wouldn't it be beautiful? As Nick Fury. <laughs> what if Disney made the Samuel L. Jackson verse? So it's like, it's um, what's his name in Pulp Fiction? Jules. Yeah. Jules. So Jules, Jules, Jules Winfield. Yeah, that's right. So it's Jules. It's um, Shaft. It's <laughs> Nick Fury. It's Mace Windu, and they all have to live in one apartment together. Yeah. I've had it with these motherfucking Samuels in this motherfucking Jackson. <laughs> you forgot I've had it with L, myself, motherfucker. <laughs> A royale with cheese. Do you mind uh, if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down with? <laughs> That's how you do a Samuel Jackson impression. Just shout and say yep. motherfucker a lot. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Motherfucker! Oh, and Frozone from The Incredibles. Shit, yeah. You gotta get some animated stuff in there. It's like Space Jam. It's all real life, but then there's just Frozone. <laughs> yeah. I love the Coruscant has buses. Look at that. They still have public transport, uh, even in the future. That's a fucking space bus. Yep. That was a bus from outer space. That is what you're <laughs> looking at right now. Look at that shit. There's a bigger one. Oh, I hope they don't fuck. They will. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just he just cuts a pair with the force. Oh, God, yeah. And then he cuts her pair with the force. <laughs> he, he, he cuts through her perm with force. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dexter Jetster! It's the... oh my god, this the best character. Awful. This this is literally the worst. It's a fifties <laughs> fucking diner, and look at this shit. He looks like he should be in Monsters Inc. Yep. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, he's Mister Waternoose. Oh, the, the fucking bit whenever, like, when you see here, Obi-Wan hugs him. And wa it's and, and watch, look at this shit. What do you see, like, oh, look at his robes. Ugh. It's so bad. Ugh. I like to do little things like he struggles to get into the booth and stuff. And being a larger yeah. man myself, I have had that problem happen to me a fair few times. <laughs> um, so, like, I, I like little bits of attention to detail, but it's all for nothing because it doesn't look real. Yeah. Like, uh, again, I'm fine with CGI. CGI is just a means of telling the story, but then there's Overboard. Then there's this shit. Yeah. Like, why couldn't this just be a guy and then, like, you know, they CGI enhance him or something like that? Why does it have to be a... Because let, let's call it what it is. <clears throat> It's a fucking cartoon character. <laughs> this is literally... Yep. You would see this animation in the Clone Wars TV show. Yeah. Well, actually, there's a character in the Clone Wars that's the same species as him. Uh, He's a Jedi. Oh, Jesus, of course he is. Is he, like, fucking Grievous, where he has, like, six arms and six lightsabers? One per uh, arm? He's only got two lightsabers, but they're both double-bladed. Ah, uh, well, you see, that's why they get away with it. And then also, I'll bet you, like, what I would have done as well is have the double blades be able to disconnect. So it's like four single lightsabers. Yeah. His name's Pong Krell. It's literally irrelevant. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't get a fuck what his name is. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. I only know this guy's name because of all the fucking memes that have been made of him. Yeah. Oh, there's Trinity College, Dexter, Dublin. Dexter. That's, uh, that's based on a library over here. Oh, there you go. Is Count Dooku's head in it? Uh, no, but this mad bitch's corpse still is. Kami this old lady's a bitch. Camino, what type of fabric softener is that? <laughs> Get your whites whiter than white. Look, look at the material. <laughs> There's no dirt. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love the sham wow. Oh fuck! And all this shit in the background too. It, it just it looks like glowing videotapes. Yeah. Do you reckon Anakin killed that kid? Yeah. Oh, he murdered them all. Because <laughs> is, is, doesn't she die in episode three? I think there's a deleted scene. Or like, like of her I remember like you, you fight and kill her in the video game, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, you do. We're still racist but, against... Again. Hang on a minute. <laughs> that fucker just said, hey, you know droids. While he himself is a droid. <laughs> oh. What is wrong with this movie? I, uh, I don't know. What's worse? The fact that this movie exists or the fact that we're sitting here. Literally, both of us are on the opposite side of the fucking planet right now. And we're doing a commentary for this. We had to put effort <laughs> in to do this. Look, we had nothing else to do. See, this is... When the time comes to to write the history books on the coronavirus, this is the shit they'll talk about. Fuckers met up from halfway across the planet just to talk about a shitty Star Wars movie because <laughs> they literally couldn't leave their fucking homes. <laughs> I literally have not gone outside in two weeks. The furthest I've went is, is round to the shops, but that's literally yeah. like, it's down the street and around the corner. Yep. Fuck me, that looks bad. <sighs> dinosaur. It's a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, where do I begin? Where do I begin with this fucking scene? Uh. Oh, God. Right. In episode four, <laughs> this shit was done because it was an improvised training session for yeah. because Ben Kenobi had to train up like, to use the Force and use his dad's lightsaber. That does not mean that they're all trained like this. <laughs> and I know why they did it. They did it as a nice little callback to episode four, yeah. or so they thought. But think about it. This is an actual class. Yeah. Second of all, they're all using real little mini baby lightsabers. <laughs> and they're all standing super fucking close to one another. They're training lightsabers. <laughs> what? So what? They just slightly singe. They don't burn. They don't cut. <laughs> uh, third of all, why the fuck are they children? Why are they younglings? Why the fuck? Why because any of this? Like I was it's a cult. I was imagining like a Harry Potter type deal where you get to the age of eleven and and like somehow the Jedi can sense if you've got enough midichlorians or not to to be force sensitive. So you get a letter from Hogwarts <laughs> going on like, going like <laughs> look, you're not a wizard, you're a space wizard. Fuck off to space Hogwarts. <laughs> That's what it is. The Jedi Temple in this is space Hogwarts. I guess, except they're not allowed to leave. Yeah, you're never allowed to leave. And also you have to sleep naked and let me take pictures of you. <laughs> 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 oh. Yoda's let the ketamine get to him. Yep. No, none of this is real. It's just Yoda's fucking mad dream while he's on horse tranquilizer. <laughs> oh. that's, uh, and then he sh that's what happens when you have too many death sticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you imagine Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you literally believe that you're in Star Wars. You're in the universe of Star Wars. <laughs> Lightsabers, space battles, oh. Jedi, it's, just, it's all fucking meaningless. It doesn't matter. Uh, back to this shit planet. It just looks like Naboo. Yeah. It, it, it's just like, it's, it I know, but it's like stock Naboo. 
It's like they they <laughs> they took the CGI Naboo they had in episode one and just shifted around a bit. If you look closely, you can actually see the Getty Images watermark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and those little uh, crosshatch things they put across them. Yeah. This was That's um, a real set. No, well, this was filmed in Rome, wasn't it? Like they actually went to a location and shot shit. Although yeah. with the amount probably of, somewhere in Italy. The amount of crap CGI that's in this, you know, it, it's kinda hard to tell what's real backdrop and what's <laughs> not. See, you can tell because the camera's actually moving there. That was a steady cam shot that was tracking yeah. them as they moved. But then you've got stuff like this where the camera's locked down and it's so stationary. Oh look, more talking. Like even the way it's covered, it's just it's the same as episode one, it's just all workman like. They're over, over, <sighs> wide, close up, wide, over, over. Like there's there's no imagination here at all. And like they're talking about new gunray and all this crap at the moment. Like talk with a wee bit more urgency. Like, you know, like this shit's happening now. Shit's going south now. We're gonna have to do something about this. Like even the way they stand up, it's so fucking <laughs> laxadaisy and so I don't give a fuck. There's bad shit happening. Oh. You're you're under attack. Someone could kill you. Sure fuck it, what's for tea? <laughs> How is this prick still alive? That old dude with the goatee looks like Bill Bailey. He actually does. Yeah, he looks like like a super old Bill Bailey. That's like, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck anymore, mate. I'm just sort of here in the background. Yeah, he looks like Bill Bailey, just not funny. They're all dressed like Time Lords. <sighs> time Lords. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, she's got the Time Lord crest on there. They look like Buddy Palpatine's guards. I like this idea, though. I like that... The docking ring. Yeah, they have, like, a docking ring, and, and that's what lets him go through hyperspace and everything, and then he flies through the ring. Yeah. Like, that's pretty badass. He's got his own little droid and shit like that. Isn't that the one that gets decapitated in episode three? Uh, yes, I believe so. R4. R4 P17. Christ, this... Honestly, right, I had this cousin when I was a kid, and he was that type of guy that would always have the newest video games and the newest consoles, and he would never let you play them. You just sat there yeah. and watched him play them for a day. Like, if your mum and dad went up to visit their brother or sister or whoever, and they brought you along, and you're like, oh, fuck, I have to see him. <laughs> yeah. And like, this is what... Watching this is what that feels like. This is the new class <laughs> video game that's just come out, and you're not allowed to play it. You just have to sit and watch the cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> Except the video game probably looks better. Yeah, more than likely. Like this, like we, we're literally at the level now where Jedi Fallen Order looks better than this. Oh yeah, infinitely better. Like, I just think, like, it doesn't help when you have an entire set and characters that are all CGI, and the only thing that's real is one actor that just looks lost. Yeah. yeah. Like, look at the poor fucker. He doesn't even know where to look. <laughs> Here, sit in our gigantic what? ice cream scoop. <laughs> it's a urinal. It queefs its way out of the roof. Oh, when we did The Phantom Menace, you said to watch the Plinket reviews, and I hadn't seen them. So I went and watched them. Yeah. yeah. And I haven't been able to stop watching Red Letter Media since. Yeah, that's that's what pretty much happened with me. Dis yep. Discovered the Plinket reviews, and I watched like half in the bag, best of the worst, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They're funny. Yes, I owe my entire YouTube career to them. Because I've just stolen <laughs> from them on a constant basis. <laughs> I, I think it's in the Phantom Menace review, the Plinket one, and he says something like, you know, um, uh, me and a group of cheerleaders came to a unanimous decision that, uh, I, that if I let them go, they wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. 
No, the fuck. More disappointing than my son. Yeah, the, they're fucking brilliant. Like, I love the bit where he goes down to the basement to find the old episode one toys. There's like a fucking hooker tied up <laughs> in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like a pile of rotting bones. <laughs> where did they find that shit? Fucked if I know. But by Christ, it's good. Like, the, the fucking... <laughs> the one that had me dying, I think is in episode three, where he goes like... Oh, you can save money on this new printer. Look, I wrote it down in my creepy notebook. I saved. <laughs> I lost twelve dollars. You fucking piece of shit! <laughs> I just got so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, look, he doesn't like sand because it's coarse, rough, and irritating. Oh fuck! Here we go. Oh my god, crap. Although, in all <sighs> fairness, it really doesn't help that she's she's just being a fucking blue ball and bitch at this point. She oh, knows yeah. he's into her, her. into her. So, like, she wears these fucking sexy reveal of it. Like, look at that back. Like, I'll not lie to you, William. <laughs> I'm a fucking back man. I, like, see if... Who isn't? See if you have a decent back and a nice ass. Oh, my God. I'll <laughs> ride the whole off you. But, like... <laughs> But, like, the way that she's getting on there, like, I mean, that's that's kinky bitch territory. I mean, she goes full BDSM at one stage. Uh, in this one? Yeah, yeah, the fucking bit where, like, she's sitting by the fire, just wearing this hot wee black dominatrix outfit. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we can't because I'm too hot and successful. You blue balling <laughs> bitch! <laughs> we can't because the story has the story has to be like Romeo and Juliet. Oh here, fuck that! Yeah, like obviously not this because this is all just like CGI test tubes. But the last mm. scene, like that's all Lake Como, isn't it, in Italy? Ah, uh, I don't know. It looked real. It is, yeah. It's Lake Como, as opposed to this, which is just a, what the fuck am I looking at? Like, oh, look at how bad those is. babies look. It's grand, right? But they don't do anything with it. It's just sort of there in no. the background. Like That's what I loved about Force Unleashed. Because in the second one, I think it is, you actually get to fight on all those levels and you get to jump in between them and take on bad guys. And I think that's where you fight I Vader. I remember that. Yeah. But like the, like, I don't know if that's the second one, though. Like they make use of these really creative sets, whereas in the movies, yeah. it's just... Like, look at this shit. Like, there's nothing happening. It's just... It's a load of Tamara Morrisons. <laughs> well, at least they're real. It's just like an entire room of Tamara Morrison. If you go back, you can actually see there's no food on his plate and he's just cutting nothing. Yeah. I'm not even fucking shocked at this point. <laughs> they just didn't care. Right. Let me see if I can make sense of this. So, Master Sifo-Dyas was killed ten years yeah. ago. But he put the order in for all the clones without telling the Jedi Order. Yeah. So was that actually Master sifo that did that? Or was it... Um, it's explained in the Clone Wars. I don't quite remember. But I think Palpatine found out about it and then killed Sifo-Dyas and used them for himself. Right, makes sense. Because, see, they never I fully explain what the fuck is going no. on here. No, which is part of the problem. Look at those giant ticks. Just cow insect parasite fuckers. <laughs> Again, the steal from Valverde. The bit where, like, he's riding it, and he's like, Oh, watch me tame this gross insect! About that gets you wet, done it! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Anakin fingers her with his robot hand? Fuck yeah, he does! Because it doesn't get tired. He can have her coming for hours. <laughs> That's it's got a vibrating think. option. <laughs> the pointer finger vibrates. <laughs> Although, in all fairness, she ain't looking too bad there. I do like the bird. No. I, li I like a good bird shoulders look. I think you'd prefer if they just weren't wearing anything. 
Oh fuck yeah, I would. It's literally that this scene is the equivalent of George Lucas playing with a Barbie doll and a Ken doll. <laughs> Come on, Barbie, like let's go party. Ah 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ooh ah, ooh ah. <laughs> Come on, Padme. Come on, Padme, let's go fuck me. Ah 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 Come on, yeah. Padme. <laughs> Come on, Padme. If you know what I mean, I can <laughs> fuck you by these gross insects. Rolling the I grass. Came on, Eileen. <laughs> Rolling the grass, then I'll come in your ass, baby. Let's go <laughs> fuck in this place. Oh, Jesus Christ. The hills are alive with the sound <laughs> of these weird fucking things. <laughs> That's disgusting. Why? Uh, they, why? Uh, would, they're like fucking bollocks that grew legs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're all just gigantic ball sacks. They are. Who would design that? Oh, fuck, I do not know. I bet it's it was just Rick gigantic fucking scrotums. He probably designed something to look like his own face and he just came up with a ball sack. Oh, God. Well, see, that's the trouble, though. Like, as a man, when you get to a certain age, your face just turns into a ball sack. Yeah. Like, there's all the skin that was once so tight around your jaw, it just all sags down and joins up with, like, your cheeks and joins with, like, your... your under your neck and stuff. Yeah, right down to the ball sack. It just... <laughs> you just become this fat, slovenly, disgusting mess. <laughs> You're not even a human being anymore. You've just rotted. You, like you've just become this horrible. Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, you just turned into Jabba the Hutt. Meets one of those weird ball sack creatures. Oh, look at how bad that alien looks. I know. She's not even walking properly. It just looks like she's gliding. No. At least this is a real set. But even still, it looks fake as fuck because yeah, it's all it's so clinical. sterile. It's like a bloody doctor's office. Like, I mean, that's a completely white room. And that guy's got yeah. like a, I imagine Boba Fett's like 10 there. So like, wouldn't like the floors be all like scuffed? Wouldn't there be like little knocks on the walls and stuff? Like that's what I loved about original so. Star Wars because it looked like mm. a full lived in universe. This yeah. shit looks like it, it, well, it looks like what it is. It just looks like a fucking movie set. <laughs> oh, look, you left yeah. your Mandalorian armor just sitting around. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. <laughs> look at this shit. Because it isn't the whole story that he's not actually a Mandalorian. He killed a Mandalorian and took his armor. Yeah. Oh, hit me. And that's why. Hit me right in the best guy. Yeah. No, his isn't even actually Beskar. Oh my god, he's a basic bitch. <laughs> his is, um, I think it's called Durasteel. It's the same thing Vader's uh, suit is made of. Oh, Christ. Like, I'm all for lore, but do you see when you get into the nitty-gritty things like that? I'm just like, I'm out. I'm, you've lost me. Yeah. I, I don't give a <laughs> shit. I'm just like... like oh. I'll be honest, I don't care that much, but... <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, they did it perfectly in The Mandalorian. What's this armor? Well, it's this stuff. What's so good about it? Well, yes. you can't destroy it. Okay. Shoot it. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. That's great. That's all you need to know. So whenever yeah. he gets the, the new suit made in episode three, like, fantastic. We know we understand what it is. We understand why it matters so much to him that his suit's made out of this armor. That's it. That's all you need. Whenever you start talking about, like, oh, well, actually, there's different types of metal, and one type of metal is made out of Darth Vader's <laughs> suit, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't care. Does, does this do anything for the fucking story? No. Who gives a shit? No. It's because George Lucas needs to explain. Oh, no. Yeah, it may be space in the past, but, oh, we've still got pairs. <laughs> What is the fucking... They point? couldn't even get a real pair. I know. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It makes me want to cry. Natalie, per Natalie Portman wishes she had a pair like that. <laughs> 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 
funny because I meant her small tits. <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. It's over now. Joke's done. There! Here we go! Oh, here we go. Look at this yeah. shit! This looks like a porno! This looks like he's about to get his dick sucked! He probably did. Look, that, that's not even acting. That's them looking off the set, looking at George Lucas, going, do you really want us to say this shit? Apparently, George Lucas only picked Hayden Christensen because apparently he and Natalie Portman had good chemistry. What the fuck? What chemistry? <laughs> what no. fucking chemistry is that shit? There's like two cardboard boxes trying to fuck each other. <laughs> Except Natalie Portman can act. <laughs> Christ, she's hot. I love the ro yeah. I love the robot chicken joke where they do this scene and like she's like like a stripper pole comes up and she's dancing around it and like she does the flash dance thing where the water <laughs> hits her and all. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like listen to the crap he's coming out with. You're in my very soul tormenting me. What every girl wants to fucking hear. Do you know what he yeah. needs to do, right? This is this is an old line that Anthony taught me years ago. All he has to do is look her right in the eye and say, do you want to see my dick? And she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and like he stands up, whips his dick out, and she's like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and then, as a final humiliation, he bricks into her open, eager mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the scene ends. Like, why the? F I think that's a sexual song. Like, why the fuck don't they get together at this part? And they just spend the rest oh, of the nice. movie fucking like minxes. Because he needed to kill the sand people, and that turned her on. No, fuck it. Sure, he, he can kill the sand people anyway. He'd just be like, right, I fucked until my balls are dry. I'm gonna go murder some people for killing my ma. No, he killed the sand people because he built it up for the last ten years, and then when she found out, that's when she needed to. Oh yeah, like he's, get rid of it. He, he was more sexually frustrated. Can't fuck Padme. She's yeah. she's a fucking ice queen. Can't fuck my mum. She's dead. <laughs> I've just got. Oh come on, he looks the type, doesn't he? He's a proper wee serial killer sociopath type going on here. How, how do you know that he didn't screw his mum after she died? Do you know what? He probably did. He'd be like, no, I'll be inside you again, Mum. I'll be inside you. It was the last time I remember <laughs> happiness when I was inside you, Mum. And then he fucks the Christ out of her corpse. Oh, that's one of my favourite jokes. What's the last warm organ in a dead body? My cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm writing that one down. That's, that's <laughs> fucking good. I'm right now one time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Where's my fucking notes? Right. Oh, here. I came up with a good joke, right? Do you want to hear this? Yeah. Right, now, it probably needs a little bit of, uh, you know, work done to it, but I'll, I'll try my best. So three men walk into a bar. The barman approaches them and asks what they want to drink. The first guy, who has a thick southern accent, says, Give me a pina colada. It's a white drink. The second guy, who has a deeper southern accent, asks for a white Russian. Two white drinks. The third guy, who's wearing white robes, looks at the barman, then looks at the other two and says, He's black, kill him! <laughs> 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 oh, a little bit of uh, a bit of racism there for you, listeners. Well, I have I have black people in my family tree. He's been hanging there for forty years. Nah. <laughs> I'm writing that one down too. Oh, that's a bad joke. I shouldn't say that. Well, sorry, what was the one? What's the last warm organ in a dead body? Yep. yep. In a dead body, my dick. There we go. That's. And <laughs> <laughs> see if, if. If I don't. Imagine if somebody went through your notes and just saw that. <laughs> oh my god, you don't want to see the fucking notes I have on my phone, honestly. Like, I'll. I really don't. I'll go to fucking jail for looking like a fucking psychopath <laughs> if anyone goes through my phone. Oh. 
Like, I better not get arrested for speeding or something like that because they'll go through my phone and there's stuff in there like, like, oh, I've, I've got black people oh. in my family tree. He's been hanging there for 40 years. <laughs> my fucking hell. I would only... I would only say that one around people who know. <laughs> I know. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. That's him there, wanking over his mum. Yeah, he is. He's ripping the deck out. Look, he's sweating too. Like he's... Yeah, he oh, is. my God. I can't believe I just wanked over my own mum. <laughs> Praying to God for, for forgiveness. Forgiveness won't come. But you will, boy. <laughs> Anakin, what's the matter? I heard you wanking over your mom again last night. <laughs> Look at me in my silk dress. No, nah, actually, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> you were, weren't you? You were touching yourself to your own mom. Leave her <laughs> out of this. <laughs> Have you seen Friends? Have I seen Friends? Yeah. What type of fucking question is that to ask a human being <laughs> in this day and age? You can't escape friends. I mean, it's not great, but I mean, I've still seen it. Uh, Do you remember the episode where Chandler and Ross, Ross share their kinks? They share their kinks? Yeah. And Ross's is um, Slave Leia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fucking Rachel comes and, in at the end dressed like Slave yeah. Leia. And Chandler's kink is sometimes he's in the middle of doing it and he, Chandler's his mum pops up in his head, so it's like oh, he's fucking his mum. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> I remember the episode more than anything else where they think that Chandler watches shark porn because it is what? it is butchered to fuck. Like, <laughs> like, we have a channel over here, Channel 4, and they were known for friends. Like, they would literally, in the morning... Friends in the evening, friends all day through, yep. friends. And whenever they would show it in the mornings, obviously they had to edit it down so it was a little bit more kid friendly and that sort of thing. <laughs> the episode where they think that he watches shark porn because the, the whole setup is he's working in Tulsa, Monica comes over to surprise him. He gets into his room yep. first and he's like, Ah, oh, what should I do? Maybe put my feet up, maybe read a magazine. Ha, huh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Pay-per-view porn. So he sticks porn <laughs> on. And he's you know, he's got the deck out and he's working away. Monica comes yep. into the room to surprise him and like he changes the channel and goes, Do not disturb, do not disturb and zips himself <laughs> back up again. And she's like, What the fuck's that about? She turns around, and looks at the TV, and it's a nature documentary and there's sharks. So she goes, Oh, no. oh fuck, he watches shark porn. <laughs> In the, in the daytime TV edit of that, it makes no fucking sense because they <laughs> cut out all references to the word porn. They cut out the actual, albeit very softcore porn that they actually show on TV mm. for a couple of seconds. And they cut out any reference or mention to shark porn. So, like, you have bits where, like, he'll go into the room and go, Oh, what should I do? Should I have a lie down? Should I read a magazine? Eh, who am I kidding? It cuts away, but you still hear the end of the canned laughter as Monica approaches the room. And then on top oh. of that, whatever she sent to uh, either Phoebe or uh, Rachel later on in the episode where she goes, Chandler watches shark porn! And there's a big <laughs> laugh and the entire audience is pissing themselves. In the edit of that, she goes, Chandler! And then it, cu it just cu cuts. Oh. It cuts to their reaction. You don't hear her say, Chandler oh. watches shark porn. It's the most confusing fucking thing ever. Why? Why would they even bother just showing that episode at all? I know. They're, they're so fucking sensitive. I mean, honestly, right, if you're, if you're a parent and you've got a young kid, about four or five, and you've dropped them down in front of the TV while you're making breakfast and making sure their homework's ready in their bags, packing shit like that, if you've done a good enough job as a parent, your kid will watch that and nothing it. They will yeah. nothing the word porn. Like, what, what's the word porn? doesn't even matter. It'll get sure. right over their head. Yeah, whenever I was a kid and I was watching, like, fucking morning shows and stuff, and this is before everyone got all fucking <laughs> uppity and offended by everything. Yeah. Like, there was shit on where they would say stuff like, oh, yeah, I slept with your mom last night. Ha, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Lol. And it's just like, 
Oh my god, so he got into bed with that guy's mom and fell asleep next to her. That's so <laughs> yeah, embarrassing. Exactly. Like you don't as a kid you don't watch that and go, no. Oh my god, he inserted his penis into her vagina and thrust <laughs> until both of them reached completion. Like, Cause you don't know any better. No. So I mean I think just everyone needs to chill the fuck out. Like, I remember watching Total Recall when I was, like, seven, and there's the three-chitted chick. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, she got her shirt off. Yeah. Big whoop. No, I just looked at that and went, oh, that's an alien. That's, like, an alien. Yeah. It's got, like, a really weird chest. <laughs> She's got three nipples. Yeah. She's got three mammary glands. Oh, my God, that's, <laughs> that's just so hot. But then, probably what, like, ten <coughs> years later, that became your most paused TV moment. I never find that attractive in any small really? sense of the word. I just don't, right, I'm not really a boobs guy. Like, I, ju I just, well, obviously, like, <laughs> like, I mean, like <laughs> I'm just not. I mean, you could have nothing there. You could have all the tits of the day there. You could have taken tits from other people and shoved them into yours just to make them bigger. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, yeah. it's the ass. It's the ass, the backs of the legs, and the back. See if you've got the trifecta going on there. I'll ruin <laughs> you. I'll ruin your life. You'll never walk properly again. But tits, I could take or leave. And like, especially three-titted women. Like, there's something, <laughs> Too many. Yeah, there's something so wrong there. Because, I mean, what do you do? Like, is your left hand on the left one, your right hand on the right one? And are you just sucking on that weird third Fakes nipple in the, in the middle? Hey, look, Wado's back. Hey, look, <laughs> hey, I'm an Italian stereotype. He's got a walk on his head. <laughs> no, it's Jay Garrick's helmet. Oh, fuck. So, yeah, it's just missing. It, like, he's got the actual wings instead of just having the wings on either side. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a Jew. Hey, give me some money, huh? <laughs> Hey! Oh, did, I sold your mom. Did you fuck a car? After I slept with her. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they used him though. Like he looks sufficiently fucked up for living on a planet like Tatooine. Yeah. Oh, that's real, isn't did it? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, the sound design in this scene with the buddy. Oh, um, yeah, the, the, the mind is going off that. Bomb thing. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it scientifically makes no fucking sense because in space there is no sound no. anyway because it's a vacuum yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Science, science, science. Right, where well, we get it. But in this, I like that light travels faster than sound. So you see the detonation first yeah. before you hear that. It sounds like God's yeah. twanging a rubber band, you know? <laughs> it's Zeus throwing lightning down. It is, yeah. It's just that... It's gorgeous. I like, I like that it cuts through all the, the asteroids as well. Yeah. Just that, that circular beam of energy that comes out. Like, oh, that's, there it is. Oh, that's fucking gorgeous. Oh, that's hot. I used to do these, um, like, little kind of Doctor Who-style movies, like, a couple of years ago, yeah. and my, like, I had a Vortex manipulator on so I could jump between dimensions and stuff, and the sound effect oh, well, those, of like, that the was uh, a light, lightning blast. Yeah. I am considering, at this point, <laughs> and it may never happen, I'm considering re-editing those to get rid of all the, because I've still got the original raw footage, so I'm, co oh, I'm yeah. considering re-editing them so they're copyright free and put them up on the channel at some point. I may, oh. I may do a George Lucas and tweak them a bit. So I might change the sound effect of the Vortex Manipulator to this. Yeah. Just that, because it's just the. Oh, because those. There's something so energetic about it. Aren't they? That's a good shot, Why too. Why the fuck did you jump out of the window? <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. 
This is fucking cool, though. I wish more of the movie was like this. Yeah. I like as well, like, although it's been ruined for me ever since I realized it, but Slave 1, even though that's not Slave 1, but Slave 1 and this ship really yeah, just is. look like they're based on a kettle. Or, sorry, no, an iron. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, it looks like it's missing the handle on the top, you know, just so you can smooth yeah. your t-shirts and stuff. It probably is the, the old model. Yeah. Someone's just bought an iron from Argos or something like that. I, I do believe that is the slave one though, and Jenga O oh, just oh, is sorry, it? Boba just repainted it. I think so. Because I've heard cause again, it's this lore shit that I'm just like I don't give a fuck. But <clears throat> like I think there's something where like if you say that this is supposed to be Slave One, oh I get it because they did that in Episode Five. Um, like. If you say that this is Slave 1, everyone goes, Oh, well, actually, it's not, because this is a <sighs> blah, 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 spy ship, and blah, blah, blah. But it looks the same. It's fucking Slave yeah. 1. Deal with it. Oh, look, it's I like the that... Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Whatever they hid from well... the Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Spaceballs there. Um, I know that Boba Fett's armor is Django's armor. No, it's that's not. destroyed, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's the Slave 1. Uh, Jerry's still out on that one. Actually, do you want to fuck it? I'll look right it up. Because why the fuck not? Let me see. Yeah. Slave 1, Star Wars. According to Star Wars Databank, the deadly slave I was infamous for its association with Jango Fett, a bounty hunter in Mandalorian armor. It is Slave 1. It is Yep. Oh shit. Just uh, get my facts here from Wikipedia. Big shout out to those lads. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was infamous for being with Django. It's infamous for being with Boba. Save one was a mo. Uh, it's this shit. A modified prototype Fire Spray 31 class patrol and attack craft. Oh. <laughs> yeah, used by Django Fett and Boba Fett, so it is Slave One. Yeah. Who cares what model of spaceship it is? I know. I, I, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I the mean, only ones I know... No, do you know what? In all fairness, if you listening to this right now, if you give a fuck about it, that's fine. That's great. More yeah. fucking power to you. But I just don't care. Not one bit. See, that's the thing about Padme. She's just got a thing for reflective silver spacecraft. That's the third one she's had now. Why the fuck are we back on this planet? Because he wants to get his ma or some shit. Fuck her corpse. You know why Phantom Menace is the most like Star Wars? Because it's on Tatooine the whole time. Pretty much, yeah. Or, well, like, a decent chunk of it is, anyway. Yeah. Because, like, that's all it is, isn't it? Like, uh, the, they go to Naboo, fuck around there for a bit, go to Tatooine, fuck around there for ages, go to Coruscant for all the five minutes, and then they fuck back to Naboo yeah. again. Yep. And then go back to Coruscant to burn Qui-Gon's corpse. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, that, that, that ties into the whole five minutes that they spend on Coruscant anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're going to be flaming corpses and it'll be indirectly my <laughs> fault one day. Hey, he's an Australian. Oh, is he? Yeah, Joel Edgerton. Joel Edgerton? Yeah. Where do I know that name from? Um, He's been in heaps of things. Don't ask me what, though. I know that name. Also, right, your woman that plays uh, her, that plays Baru, yeah. does fuck all for me in this one, but say at the end of episode three when she's holding the kid, when she's holding the baby, yeah. look, hot as fuck. <laughs> don't ask me why, Strange. I don't know. We're all on the whiskey again, anyway. Where's the blue milk? No, they're on the whiskey. <laughs> Look at that. Look at him. You know he needs a drink to get through the fucking day. Like, <laughs> He looks like he'd touch kids. Oh, you see, after I lost the leg, I just couldn't chase him down anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you find your mother, son. You find her and fuck a corpse. Fuck it raw. Yeah. Oh. And find my leg if you can. Fucking Tuscan Raider took it. Started using it as a sort of melee weapon. Fucking bastard. Beat the shit out of me with my own oh, severed no. leg. Your mother's dead, son. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> oh. Um, have you seen Exodus, Gods and Kings? No, I have not. Okay. Because it... Joel Edgerton's in there. It literally sounds like the type of movie that I would actively want to vomit <laughs> if I had to sit down and watch. Fair enough. Oh, Fair look, enough. he kind of looks like Darth Vader in the shadow. That was intentional. Except it wasn't. <laughs> it's just a shitty hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you aren't thinking of Taron Egerton? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, yeah. Because <laughs> he's the dude from Kingsman, Elton isn't John. he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Quaif. It's <laughs> 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 a machine powered by Quaif. Quaif, 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 for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's just there. See, I look at you know, I look at shit like this, and I'm just like, they utilize those vehicles so much better than the Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, waiting for all those Jawas to explode. Yeah. Fuck, I love that scene in Episode Two, of Mandalorian. Where he's like, you yeah, bastards exactly. took my ship apart. I'm going to fuck you <laughs> up. Oh, and then he gets the egg and they just fucking eat it. <laughs> it was all meaningless. <laughs> but he found out Baby Yoda could use the Force. Yeah, true. But in terms of getting, think, the, getting the egg for the fucking Jawas, like... <laughs> What do you think Baby Yoda's real name is? Oh, um, Pom Quaff or some gay shit like that. <laughs> like, it'll, it'll, not, I think... it'll not be, like, something class. It'll just be, like, Plorquarg or something. <laughs> oh, God. What if it was just, like, Dwight or something? <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> Chad. Eugene Parsekian. <laughs> Oh, Christopher Lee. Ah, uh, that hot little motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it just instantly makes anything he's in better. Even this fucking dog turd. I, I don't think he... Oh. He's in so many movies. He's just one of those actors where, like, you can make him read the phone book and it would still sound so engaging and captivating. Yeah. He originally wanted to play Magneto. Oh, don't. That's the type. And then Ian McKellen stole it. No, like, Christopher Lee, Ian McKellen, Patrick Stewart, and who else has got an amazing voice? Not this cunt, obviously. Like, that, that guy's got a very <laughs> fucked up voice. That guy's head was smushed between two doors, like in the fucking <laughs> Warner Brothers cartoon. Um. <laughs> 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 uh, what the fuck was it? Uh, like just all those types of actors just like, have those just really amazing yeah. voices. Like honestly, I'd love to see like like obviously it won't happen now because half of them are either dead or just completely fucked. But yeah. I'd love to see like a Shakespearean movie, just with all of them and it just act acting their balls off. You know, there there probably was a play or something that they were all in. Oh my god, I'd love that. Like, Joss Whedon did, um, what was it, Midsummer Night's Dream he did? Or something? Uh, what fucking mm-hmm. one? Because he did it after Avengers. Yeah. I forget which one it was, but it was just, it was fucking class. And he had, um, it was basically like all the people he'd worked with before. There was people from Buffy in it, Angel, Firefly, oh, Dollhouse yeah. and all. It was fucking class. 
Mm, just put, hey, uh, put, put my lightsaber onto silent <laughs> mode there, just so I could maintain the surprise. Oh, yeah, she's all tied up and shit. That's hot. <laughs> and she's already facing yeah. the other way for me. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> just get that other one off. Yeah, Ooh, I'm inside tonight. <laughs> my, you've grown. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, why is your <laughs> finger in me? <laughs> My grown up son. I never had a, a partner. Like, I, you never had a father. Please. Fuck me before you die. Now I'm complete. <laughs> I want you to fuck me. Oh, please. Oh, God. Oh. Look, she came and she went. Double, double click the mice there. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll never be able to pleasure my mother again. <laughs> <laughs> Not while she's alive. No, I can pleasure myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like hands free wanking. <laughs> What if he just cut, like, the bottom half of her body off and just kept it? Yeah. <laughs> he, he gave it to Darth Maul. <laughs> He's got a vagina now. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, Qui-Gon. There's always a bigger fish, Anakin. And it's your mother, motherfucker. Hey, you little green motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the shit that's going on. They really have underutilized Samuel L. Jackson in these movies. Yeah, he doesn't say motherfucker enough. You see the way he came in and sat down there? It's just like, that's not something Samuel L. Jackson would do. No. He can march. He'd run in there and he'd slide on there. He'd march into the room and go, I just heard Qui-Gon's voice. What the fuck is going on in this shit, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> you little green shit. Does he look like a Jedi? <laughs> Say what again? Oh. I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker! Imagine if these movies were just one big gay porno and Samuel L. Jackson's always trying to get with Yoda. Oh, I'd watch the fuck clean out of that. And then the whole time Yoda's doing ketamine. <laughs> yeah, dreaming all this shit up. The... They're in the back of his Honda Civic. <laughs> Mace Windu's pulling his yeah, pants that, in. That's the Honda Civic. It's just Yoda's on too much ketamine. He thinks it looks like a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's Jeff Goldblum. He's just made his transformation into the fly there. That's a great movie. I fucking love the fly so much. It's so, so horrible. Yeah. But at least Ray Skywalker is not a Palpatine. Oh, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. I yeah, hold it. Oh, right there and at the Lars homestead. That's where the grave of the Skywalker lightsabers is. Because yeah. that matters so much. Oh, God. How come Anakin wasn't a ghost there? I know. Like, just just put him there with them. Just the whole thing is fucking meaningless. It wasn't worse than The Last Jedi, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, The Last Jedi is alright. But 
Except it's yeah. except it's not. It's not style. You know, it's just uh, well. Uh, I mean, it's it's meaningless. It doesn't advance yeah. the story even in any small way. Nope. Like literally, all the characters are at the same position at the end of the movie as they are at the beginning. Yep. Just this time, they're all on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally the most pointless movie. And then. And uh, Ryan uh, Johnson does good stuff. And then episode 9 comes out and completely undoes anything that The Last Jedi tried to do. So it's literally... Yeah. It, it's meaningless. You could go They should have just let JJ do all three. Th yeah. Because like, there was a plan in place for episodes 8 and 9. And Ryan Johnson came in and went, Nah, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not going to do that. At least let JJ write all three. Maybe not direct. But... Yeah. As long as like there's a plan in place for the storyline. Yeah. Because episode 7 did so much to set everything up. Episode 8 yeah. goes, Ha oh, ha, you thought this is the way we were going, huh? fuck you. And then episode 9 goes, Oh, well, actually, shit. It, we've got no more story yeah. to tell. Everything's wrapped up. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, none of that mattered. Reweld Kylo Ren's lightsaber, or fucking helmet, back together again. Helmet. Fuck it. Reweld Rey's lightsaber back together again. Fuck it. You know what I do like? I liked the Han scene in Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I liked it too. Like, I, it kind of came out of nowhere. But it's... Uh, it's it's basic bitch Star Wars. That's what it is. Yeah. How much money do you think they paid Harrison Ford to get in another one of these shit shows? Oh, literally everything they earned from The Mandalorian. <laughs> That's why the movie didn't... It was crap. Yeah. They're just like, ah, oh, no, fuck it. We need to get... They wasted all the money. We, we need Harrison Ford in this fucker. Yeah. The women and children, too. <laughs> See, I had this theory that I came up with a couple of years ago for why Anakin is the way he is in this movie. Like, you know, especially, mm. like, with, um, with all his, his shitty romance stuff and all that bollocks. So, <clears throat> if you think about it, and think about his history and who he is as a person, he was, like, ten whenever he got indoctrined into the Jedi Order. So, yeah. w like, whenever you're at, like, for, say, like, a regular Jedi, I take it they're brought to the Academy quite fucking young. Like, Oh, yeah, as soon as they find out they have the Force, they steal it. Yeah, so, like... You're talking maybe five, maybe six, or something like that. Certainly when you're not at an age where you start to look at and notice women or notice people you're attracted to and <laughs> yeah. shit like that. So, with Anakin, he was at the age of ten. He was a little street rat, he was a little slave. So naturally, like, he was starting to develop feelings for women. And especially when Padme rocks up in that shop, he's like, oh my god, she's so hot, I want to fuck her. Or like the ten-year-old equivalent of that. Next thing you know, he's being brought into this order of mad, muck, mad monks and being taught, oh, no, no, the Jedi have to live a life of solitude. You cannot take a bride. You cannot be with anyone. You, okay, you can only love the Force. The Force is what matters. Right? So, naturally, he's been away from her and away from contact with any sort of woman that would sort of dress sexy or fancy and back or anything like that. So when he first sees her again, he's still that 10-year-old kid. Like, like yeah. you know, as you get older and you you're socialize more with women, you, you work out how to talk to them, what they find attractive, what they don't. And you, you work out, you know, like how to turn them on and how to say the right things and shit like that. <laughs> with him, he doesn't. He's right back to being a 10-year-old again, coming out with the most awkward baseline cringy shit that you would come out with in fucking primary school or early high school so that's why he is the way he is even though he's like what fucking 19 yeah. in this movie yeah 19 jesus wept he's 24 ah age is just a number especially when you look that fucking good He's saying that if, he's, uh, there's a dwarf inside him that's roasting alive in this hot desert sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you think Anakin built 3PO as a sex toy? Fuck yeah, he did. That's why his arms are bent like that. Quicker to jerk him off. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Master Anakin, but my joints need 
oiled. I don't care, 3PO. Bring me to completion. That's, uh. that's why he was missing the eye. <laughs> yeah. He fucked his skull. <laughs> the most nonchalant just... Oh, let me pull out my lightsaber. Wait. Yeah. Uh, how, uh, why the fuck... Oh, fuck this movie. <laughs> <coughs> really, Yerdy, you little prick. You've committed war crimes. Why should we trust you? Anakin, we will deal with Count Dooku, motherfucker. <laughs> Protect the Senator at all costs, motherfucker. That's your first priority, motherfucker. <laughs> Take a seat, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, God, that reminds me of one of my favorite fucking memes from episode three, whatever he goes. Master Skywalker, you want to hear a joke? Okay. <laughs> the rank of master. I don't get it. I know you don't. Take a, Take a seat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Revenge of the Sith going to be some crack to do a fucking commentary on as well. <laughs> I'll just finish off my Doritos just while I'm here. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Oh, that's a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Yoda! Look at him! He looks like a retard! <laughs> He's got his ass sticking out. <laughs> it's like fucking E.T. Hey, look, yeah. there's that three-titted woman you were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, you orange prick! I'm watching this with um, with the subtitles on, and apparently English yeah. in the Star Wars universe is known as speaking basic. Yeah, it's called basic. So they're all basic bitches. <laughs> Obviously, because I look at the look at the fucking shit levels of manipulation here. That's yeah. all it takes to get this fucking orange fucking mung bean here to go, <laughs> yeah, we should put uh, emergency powers to the Chancellor. <laughs> Fuck me. Because he's an idiot. Oh, God, why they didn't put a scene in where he was just fucking cut in half? Apparently, after Revenge of the Sith, he becomes like a clown, like a street clown. Why does that not shock me? After Revenge of the <laughs> Sith, he should have become a corpse, and then Anakin should have fucked him. <laughs> I love the edit of The Phantom Menace where he falls off the waterfall. Sorry, you cut out. What? There's an edit of the Phantom Menace when they they're on the waterfall and the underwater something, and it goes over the waterfall and Jar Jar goes with it. Oh, he just fucking falls to his death. Yeah, that would have been fucking beautiful. It would have been, but for some reason they decided to keep that little prick in. That looks like the Jumanji board game behind Christopher Lee there. <laughs> Let's just see that design. Let's just say it looks like he's in Jumanji. Looks like Van Pelt's hut or something. Jumanji's a better movie than this. Do you know what? I like all three Jumanji movies. I haven't seen the new one. It's it's not bad. It's better than it has any right to be. Do you count Zathura? Uh, actually, yeah, I do. So, so four and I. I like all four. Zathura is where all the basic bitches get their makeup. It's what? Zathura is where all the basic bitches get their makeup, isn't it? Oh no, that's Sephora. Oh, I don't know. I haven't worn makeup in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that out. Replace it with never. <laughs> I would be like, oh, fucking God help me if I was a woman. I couldn't cope. I really couldn't. The amount of shit they have to do. I can just about straighten my hair. And, like, br brush my beard. And that's literally it. 
<laughs> Are you going on a quarantine beard? Um, sort of. Like, I mean, I've always wanted to grow my beard, like, slightly longer. And I've got, um, yeah. like, a heated comb. So it, like, straightens it and shit like that. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I think I might just not cut it at all. Like, uh, like I, I don't like the neck beard shit. So, like, I, no. I chop that off. But the actual stuff that's on my cheeks and on my jaw and shit, like, I want to grow that nice and long. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm... I don't think anybody likes neck beard. I'm preparing myself for the inevitable male pattern baldness, so I can just reach a stage where <clears throat> I'll go through a Joss Whedon phase, where like I originally started off with like long hair and no beard, and I look fucking terrible, and then like I'll take myself off for a couple of years, I'll come back, I'll have, n- I'll be completely bald on top and just this big manly <laughs> Viking like beard, and I'll look like you know, a total badass. You know, if the beard gets long enough, you could just. Um, grab it at the bottom and then put it on the top of your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely the plan. Just tuck it round behind the ears. <laughs> yeah. Do a Donald Trump. Yeah, bit of super glue. That'll look <laughs> lovely. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, grow like an. Oh look, Greedos. Grow like an Albus Dumbledore style beard and just like sellotape <laughs> it to the top of my head. <laughs> Or you could just do a Gandalf and just wear a hat all the time. Ah, that's a cop out. <laughs> Imagine if they figured out Palpatine was Sidious now and Mace Windu just jumps off and he's like, Come here, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> You're on a fence to freedom, you fucker. <laughs> Uh, Yoda. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. How far into this movie are we now? It's nearly over, isn't it? Uh, there's still 46 minutes. Get the fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It goes forever. Oh, shit. I completely forgot because they go on the fucking droid conveyor belt and shit like that as yeah. well. Oh, Jesus. It just looks fucking terrible. It looks like one of those fucking game shows you watched as a kid. <laughs> Oh. Yes, that's right. Land in the steam vent. That way we don't have to spend more <laughs> CGI budget on what's out the window. <laughs> Put my car to get on. It looks cold out there. <laughs> in the middle of a fucking volcano. Oh, Jesus. Right. You stay there, folks. Don't get into any wacky hijinks now for the kiddies. All I'm saying is, I've got a deck, you've got a slot. <laughs> we got, <laughs> and we got time to kill. Uh, I've got a hundred dollar note. Let me put it in your coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, the Transformers movies have more of a story than this. So it's not about that. It's about like what's more entertaining. A bunch of people walking around talking bollocks, or big fuck off robots destroying cities. I know which one I'll take. Robots. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, I- I'm trying to think of entertaining shit to say here, but there's just. <laughs> there's not a lot. It's literally nothing. Nothing's happening. Oh, look at fucking three people trying to walk down that ramp. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Bless him, he's trying so hard not to tip over there. <laughs> They're in the walls. They're in the fucking walls! The ketamine! <laughs> the walls are alive. With the sound of bug monsters. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> like Annie, what did you do? I killed them. <laughs> but not just the men. But the women! The women and children. And the, ju- <laughs> and the larva! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, that was fucking smart, wasn't it? It just gets to a fucking point where the CGI is so atrocious in this. It's so hard to watch. It actually hurts my fucking eyes to watch this scene. Yeah. Because like, that's just all Ugh. green. Like, I've seen the behind the scenes for this. Yeah. It's all green. There's like a couple of boxes that are green and shit like that. Yeah. Like, it's so fake. They're, like, there's, like, I know, like, I get it. Suspend your disbelief and shit like that. But 
There is no point where I watch this and go, she isn't any threat. Nope. Also, would you not just jump off? Especially not Anakin. Like, why go through all this shit? I don't know. Ju do that! Jump off the side! Yeah, that's what I said! Like, just jump off it! The worst part about these movies is the plot armor for all the characters that you know lives. It's just dog shit. How perverse! R2 is trying to <laughs> enter me from behind! <laughs> Like he just tried to kill him! <laughs> oh no, that looks terrible! It's not bad. Look, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Is this the only time 3PO is CGI in any of these movies? I think it is, yeah. And like, there's, there's this little rocket things and R2. <laughs> and, oh, God. How come he never uses those again in like He uses them movies. once at the start of episode 3 to set droids on fire, yeah, but that's, that's it. it. My head cannon is, you know when he's shot in A New Hope in the trench run? Yeah. When he's shot, he loses all of those powers. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's like in Back to the Future Part 3, whenever Doc sends the letter, it's like, the lightning bolt that hit the DeLorean destroyed the flying circuits. Unfortunately, the car will <laughs> never fly again. The car uh, getting fuck. destroyed by a train probably doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck am I looking Why? at? Like, this, this wouldn't even work. How would that even fit? It doesn't work. Like, look at this shit as well. Like, what? What? Do all droids no, have the same no, neck connection? No, no, Hold on a minute. That neck connection wasn't there a second ago. No, it was not. So what the... F oh. That's what you get. Ah, uh, so much for using the force, <laughs> mate. I really thought that was it. That's where he loses the arm there the first time I saw this. Yeah. Because surely, like, whenever the thing comes down to stamp it, that would cut his arm off. You would think so. Quave. <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> shitting lava into pots. <laughs> just like, oh, I had a curry last night. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why do they have big meat cleavers? I love how this is like lined up to make it look as though that that's her pot. Yeah. And you're like, nah, mate. She needs to be alive so she can have babies. She's like Linda <laughs> Hamilton in Terminator. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, apparently kangaroo farts smell like curry. Kangaroos can't fart. Can't they? No, they can't. Like a, it's a weird little animal fact. Kangaroos cannot fart. Huh. I should have known that. Yeah, I know, but then that would make you a horrible stereotype. <laughs> oh, you're Australian. You, you guys are all like Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> like, cuts the top of the lightsaber off, but doesn't cut his fucking hand off. Are you serious? Yeah, it's... Well, don't be such a reckless cunt. Dickhead, yeah. <laughs> if he wasn't in love, he wouldn't be here right now. Right, if he's supposed to be, like, super strong with the Force, why doesn't he just use the Force? Just crush all the droids to bits. Because the plot needed to continue like, for another I, so, 39 minutes. See what I mean about... They don't do anything cr like truly creative in this because anytime you see a Jedi up against a droid, just cuts through them like they're butter. Yeah. Why don't they ever just use the force to just crumple them? Because Jedi aren't smart. Like have a scene where Yoda walks into the room and there's all these battle droids <clears throat> and they're all sitting around going like Don't move, Jedi, we we've got you with our <laughs> guns and shit. And Yoda just goes like closes his eyes and just they all crumple to the size of a coke yeah. tin. 
And he just walks off like he, he just nothings them. Because it's not actiony enough. Like once, no, that would be badass though. Like one survives and like fires a laser bolt at him, and he just catches it and fucks it straight back at the droid and blows it up. <sighs> Walks out I like think in... like fucking pimp life. Yeah. <sighs> There's a 2D animated Clone Wars series from like 2003. I've seen it. Yeah, I think I think Mace Windu does that in that. But see, that's badass. And then oh no, we kept the fucking shit like this. Yeah. Like look at the way that fucking Han Solo and Princess Leia first or first kiss. Yeah. It's supercharged. It's sexy. It's brilliant. This cringy as fuck. And you care about the characters. <laughs> exactly. This is just absolute trite. I love that it's a big gladiatorial combat arena. Like, they've all paid money to watch this. It's like a demolition <laughs> derby, but with prisoners. Yeah, I totally hit that. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like um, Hillary Swank. Why does she have a hairpin? Why anything? <laughs> clearly they've done this before. Why do they have four poles? Yeah, like, this is clearly a thing that happens. It's like, again, yeah. it's, like, it's like the robot check-in sketch. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at the Geonosian <laughs> Arena. Come see big monsters rip apart prisoners. That's the balcony of vaginas. It's a, that, that's a that's a wall full of pussies right there. Count Dooku's standing in pussy. Look at that! They've even got clitoral hoods. Like what the fuck? Everything in this is a vagina. This is a Freudian wet dream. <laughs> oh look, he's got the horn. Oh, coming out of the vagina there. I don't know if you're a big Star Trek fan or not, but in the in the first movie, when his Vija, and when Spock's going in, he's like, "I am entering the orifice." Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. From uh, what is that? Is that um, Star Trek Five? No, that's the motion picture. Oh, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah, because yeah. isn't Five the one where they make God? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I all... four is the whale one. Four is the whale one. Three is the one where Spock comes back to life. Two is when where Spock yeah. dies, and Khan! Wrath of Khan. Just put a T on the end. Wrath of Khan. Love that crab monster as well. Like, that's pretty badass. Like, like I said, most of the designs are good, but... Yeah, it's just... It's utilised in such a, like, the worst yeah. way. Like, look, there was actual depth of field there. Did you see that? <laughs> the monster was slightly out of focus. I think that's the only time that we properly see depth of field in these movies. And that's why that shot just looks so weird and out of place. <laughs> like, for a second there, it actually became a proper movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got to get some Ooh, sex appeal in there. One of the only times we see blood. Yeah, and... Funnily enough, it happens to piss off far and quickly, too. Like, surely she would be bleeding like a motherfucker from, oh, that, yeah. from that injury. So. Like, she'd be bleeding to death. And she's, I'm surprised that didn't go right through her spine. Yeah, and, like, she's wearing a white outfit as well, so surely, like, blood would yeah. be pissing all down the back of that. Fuck you! That would not kill that thing. No. So it looks like it's got bones on top of its bones. <laughs> see that? See all like the quills and shit? Yeah. It's like a disgusting <laughs> mutated space. Right, this one's just like, fucking die already! <laughs> yeah. I love the bit in this as well, too, whenever he gets the spear. <laughs> like he, oh, yeah. he harpoons it. <laughs> Is it sad that I know the names of two of those creatures? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that one's the Nexus, and the green crab monster's the Aqua. Sorry, that, that wee mantle fucker there's called Nexus. 
Yeah. Oh my god, that's my aunt Wait's name. <laughs> I think it's the Nexus. Nexus. Oh my god. When I saw when the big woolly rhino in the Mandalorian came out, I thought it was going to be this fun. The fucking crowd's loving this shit, like. Because <laughs> it's like, could you imagine, like, any other week? It's like, oh, just three decades and they instantly get killed. These fuckers yeah. are putting up a proper wee fight. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's like, oh. It breaks all eggs. Ah! <laughs> Worst <laughs> camel toe right ever. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I got you. It <laughs> breaks it in half. <laughs> oh, I'm pissed now. Fuck you. You're going down, wee lad. Oh, that was a weird jump. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, she will die in fucking childbirth. <laughs> oh, we've got that well, droid, guys. <laughs> the bionicle robots. <laughs> Padme does a big sad. Right, you got them. Shoot them, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't think so, motherfucker. I'll get you with my big purple <laughs> dildo. <laughs> you want this inside you? <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> This part is over, motherfucker. We all got our dildos on. <laughs> Look at that fucker with the tentacles. Fucking Kip Fisto, isn't it? Oh. That's a, that's a guy there with the pterodactyl head. Like, yep. There are so many Jedi where it's like a lightsaber is just not your opportune weapon. Nope. The pterodactyl head. His name is Coleman Treeball. I, I, <laughs> I don't care. I only know that because there's a Lego set. It's just pterodactyl head. <laughs> Motherfucker. Set me on fire, you bitch. I'll cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> He's so precise. It's just like, you do that, I'll cut your fucking head off. <laughs> yeah, and he does it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Here are some yeah, random I'm... lightsabers we brought along. Yeah. Because we knew you'd lose them. Do you know what? This would have been a great opportunity to show more than just the, the fucking three lightsaber colors. Like, get, <laughs> yeah. get some yellows in there. Get some fucking oranges. Some white. Fuck it. Fire a dark saber in the background as we Easter egg. Go <laughs> on. You owe it to your fans. I did like that they gave Ray a yellow lightsaber. That was nice. Yeah, it was cool to see it, because it was something at least new, new, unique, and different. Yeah. How she got it, I have no fucking clue. But... Ah, fuck it, she just built it, why not? <laughs> she just found the crystal, and, uh... Yeah. yeah. No, Luke had one spare. He had one knocking about. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I when, thought... like, when you look at the expanded universe and everything they did with those original trilogy characters... To get yeah. 7, 8, and 9 after all that shit. Like, fucking Mara Jade. Where the fuck was Mara Jade? Like, what a waste. Yeah. I did like how they handled Carrie Fisher's death, though. It was... Oh, it was a little bit awkward at points. It was, because obviously they were outtakes. But... Yeah. Yeah. What, what could you do? <laughs> She's like, never underestimate a droid. That's her line. And like she says it after BB-8 says something yeah. completely irrelevant. Motherfucker. Oh, here we go. Your fucking head's coming off, boy. After you get trampled by this disgusting space <laughs> rhino. Like, what a shit way to die. <laughs> no, your jetpack's fucked, mate. Anakin foreshadowed it by being trampled by the cow thing. <laughs> the space pollock. Yeah. Fuck you! 
Hey, I told don't you, lose dude. your head, motherfucker. <laughs> That big gun just quaked. Not half. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I mean, it's not bad action. It's fine. Like, I like that little bit where he force pushes him down and, like, has a cheeky little there smile. Like, that's cool. It just, well, he, <laughs> and he just has this, ha ha, fuck you. Like, I like little things like this, but it's just, it's all so... Meaningless, that was bad too, whenever yeah. that fucking fell over, but... Like, you can't follow the action. Nope. And it's only whenever they do the wide shot, whenever it all pans back, and you see just how many battle droids are left, and how few Jedi there are. Yeah. Well, most of the Jedi are using two lightsabers at this point, because the other ones are dead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, remember me, fucker? <laughs> Love this. Ah, fuck you. That's her really goes full <laughs> Jesus mode there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch my ass while I leave. That is just so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just dragging wow, people's <laughs> fucking head. <laughs> Hey, so... Padme should be dead. So the way that R2 fixed 3 people there, he literally gave him head. <laughs> There's the vaginas again. Look, see, we never once got an indication that that's how bad the battle was going for the Jedi. No. Why are you checking if his so. pulse is there? He's clearly dead. Yeah, he was murdered. Like, don't waste your time. It just felt like George Lucas was like, oh, I need to give Obi-Wan something to do here. I haven't checked a dead yeah. Jedi. Just, uh, hello, Jedi, are you dead? <laughs> There's uh, Plo Koon and Kip Fisto there. And yep. Fucking, um, what do you call fucking Conehead there? Uh, Kiati Mundi. Kiati Mundi, there he is. And uh, your woman Sassy as well. Tin, yeah. Isla Secura. Shark T. She Eve goes out Puff. like a total bitch as well. Like, all these Jedi, <laughs> yeah, she like, does. They, they, they may as well just have killed them here because they all go out in the yeah. shittest way. Adi Galia. Yoda. That's the Honda Civic. Mm hmm. And the clones are representative of how many, how much ketamine you took. No, that's just all semen. 200 million units. That, that's just the amount of <laughs> semen he's had to ingest to afford the ketamine. Oh, look, it's like a little Death Star. Oh, Death Star. that's cool. Because uh, reference. How has Padme survived this long? Plot armor. Fucking plot armor. <laughs> Not a single stormtrooper suit was built either. They're nope. all CGI characters. This is basically the Clone Wars animated series bleeding into this movie. Yep. Off the fuck. Those ships are pretty badass though. Yeah. I like the ships. They look, they look like paper clips. Do you reckon? Like alligator clips, I mean. Oh, alligator clips. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's sad because his dad's dead. Imagine like, if his head Yeah, yeah, just, just like the like... head slopped out of it and rolled away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the helmet quaffs out his dad's decapitated head. <laughs> and it's like a, it slowly slides out. And then just hits the floor. Yeah, like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking line. Like, good idea, my young Padawan. Good call, my young Padawan. Oh, God, that is just cringe. 
Why are the Jedi on the ground again? Oh, the fuck knows. Should just got the fuck out of there and nuked the planet Wait, from there space. A here? Oh, there it is, right in the top left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they even see a close up of it and it goes onto this little hard drive yeah. thing and he fucks off with it. That's like that's, that's that's not exactly an impressive technical build. That's that no. that's a ball with a circle on it. With a hole in it. Yeah, yeah. like. Like, you don't need to keep those. Like, you can keep the idea of memory. That's class, though. Like, the bit where that one blew up. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, for every bad thing in it, there is a good thing. There is something nice in it that makes you go, oh, that's pretty cool. And then you've got shit like this, where it's just Samuel yeah. Jackson on a green screen going, what the fuck am I doing here, <laughs> motherfucker? Go over there, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> we in space, motherfucker. <laughs> How can I breathe? How can they breathe? Does every planet have air? It must do, yeah, because it's a galaxy far, far away. They probably yeah. all breathe in nitroglycerin or some shit. <laughs> That's why they have to use lasers instead of weapons, because it would just ignite the entire planet. <laughs> That's why Yoda's high all the time. Ah, oh, attack the Federation. Oh, fuck you, Star Trek. me. <laughs> Like, I mean, it is fucking insane that they decided to do all the Stormtroopers as CGI. Yeah. At least do a few, like, the close-ups is real. As far as I know, it's not. As far as I know, like, all the star the Stormtrooper armors, like, it, the whole thing is just CGI. They never yeah. once built a suit. Didn't have enough money, probably. It, what? Like... The amount of money, like that alone, probably cost a fucking fortune. Yeah, but they'd have to make a mold and then. I mean. George Luke, don't question it. <laughs> oh, God. All of the noises some of these fuckers make. Yeah. Like that guy that has the weird like, kind of like, uh, what, do you, what the fuck language is it? Like Exosa or something like that? Exosa or whatever the fuck it is, that uh, African language. And then like the other guy, like the uh, the, the Machine Empire guy. That's like, oh, we go, we Like halfway through everything he says. All right. Hexbug made toys like that. Like the two big um, wheels and like oh, the little the, tiny body. The Hellfire droids. Yeah. yeah. The giant crab ship. Yay. It's a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because isn't this the one that has like the solar sailor thing on it? Uh, no, that's Count Dooku's one. Oh, fuck. Quaif. <laughs> it's just all parred by Quaif. <laughs> Quaif. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, floating testicles. There's a really intense fucking bit coming up here, like where you just see like the smoke and just all the laser blasts that come through it. And it just looks oh, so yeah, sure. so good. And then you have this shit here, where it's just like, oh, PS2 <laughs> game again. Looks worse than Battlefront. It really does. It's so, so fake. Look, 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 look. They've even got, like, they even put in the camera shake there. And, the, like, the, the, yep. the, the crash zoom and all. Yeah, this is it coming up here, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And you just see, like, the pew, 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 pew. There it is. Yeah! How come the clones have blue, um... Uh, gun bullets. What are like lasers? Oh, who fucking cares? This stuff's just fucking class. They're meant to be. All laser fire is meant to be red, and then the ships have green and. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. I wouldn't hang out at the side of the ship like that if I were you. <laughs> Might fall out. 
Quaff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a purple! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> she was nowhere oh, near the side of that. <laughs> right, so. Don't leave her, she's touched sand. Yeah, it's coarse, rough, and irritating. <laughs> and it's all in that wound she just got. Yeah, like she should have just woke up and went like, "Oh fuck, he was right yeah. about sand." <laughs> I need you, Anakin. I need you right now, cause I'm <laughs> not you, sleeping. I need you deep inside, Anakin. Deep inside. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll crack open another one. Why not? <laughs> Hello. All of this is meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> no, the client just talks to me and yeah, he's like, I don't remember asking you a goddamn <laughs> thing. thing. <laughs> You'll speak when you're spoken to, motherfucker. Oh, I need some crisps to soak up the level of alcohol that I've had to put into myself to enjoy this <laughs> fucking movie. Oh, it's fucking pointless! <laughs> it fucking ships away! <laughs> no, in all fairness, this is class. Yeah. There's the tampon. <laughs> Dooku just stand there like a baller. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> He just like taunts him, he's like, I fucked your mother. That's why she's dead. And lightsabers just sort of absorb <laughs> like <laughs> lightning bars as well. <laughs> no Doku's lightsaber. That is yeah. fucking lit. My favorite lightsaber, I think. Is it right enough? Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame me. I think it looks fucking classic. Like, I love, like, the bent hilt on it and all. Yeah. It's just so, so sexy. I was thinking about what my favorite lightsaber is. I think it, it might be Obi Wan's from this one. On the first one. Which one? Um, oh, okay. Do you know the one that he, uh, he lost? It's got, like, the little. Um, uh, down the. It's got, like, a. The knob on the end. Yeah, it's got the knob on the end. Yeah, it's got the bell yeah. end on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the silver one. Like, it, I just think it looks yeah. so gorgeous. Like, I love Luke's from Episode Six. Oh yeah, I like Qui Gon. I do like Qui Gon's. Yeah, Qui Gon's was definitely my favorite whenever I was a kid because it was the first lightsaber toy I ever got. Yeah, I think the first one I ever got was Anakin, but it had a green um, light in it. Right. Like, it was Anakin's hilt, but the actual white part was green, so it never made any sense. So where, was it like a wee knockoff one or something, maybe? No, it was, I'm pretty sure it was an official one, but... Well, actually, no. Because in Revenge of the Sith, um, Grievous has Anakin's lightsaber, but it's green, because it's just stuff lightsabers that they used. <laughs> yeah. I think Grievous literally has Anakin's and Obi-Wan's in the final fight. Um, and probably like Mace Windows or something as well. Yeah. Well, look at this. So, like, I love the use of light yeah. in here. Like they've pointless swinging though. They've cut the <laughs> fucking um thing through as well, like the little par thing. And yep, there goes the arm. Quick, use that force he healing ability that Ray has in Episode Nine. Him, Grab his arm. <laughs> Go on, reattach <laughs> it using your force power. Ah, oh, not too late. Fuck it. <laughs> And here comes your boy, swinging his dick. <laughs> High as fuck on ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's able to jump around. <laughs> Eat shit. It's like, not today, bitch. <laughs> like... What is this showing? Is this just like a dick measuring battle? It is, yeah. Like, surely shouldn't they have started with the lightsaber first and then went on to the force powers? 
You would think so. Because he's like, oh, you've mastered the force, but well, what's your skills with the lightsaber like? And it's like, well, bitch, you've seen how good I am with the force. <laughs> and it takes having good force powers in order to use the lightsaber effectively. Let's I mean, see, let's see if we, should know how powerful Let's see if we match you with your skills with a lightsaber. Mm. Like, they've done this entire fight sequence backward. Yeah. I do like that Dooku's like, oh shit, what the fuck? Because surely Dooku would Chris know how good Yoda is. You would think so. Yoda trained him. Yeah, because he's a former Jedi. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Christopher Lee was confused and didn't know what was going on at all when he filmed this. I'm sure Christopher Lee wasn't even was the... here for half of that. They've just CGI'd uh, his head onto a stunt double. He did some of the fight, I think. Like that. But <laughs> that wouldn't be him. No, definitely not. Like that's all CGI face <laughs> replaced there. Well, because he used to do a lot of fencing for movies back in the day. Oh my god, it's deep fake before deep fake. <laughs> but worse. How the fuck does that work? Yoda's just too small. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> How the fuck could he hold that back? Oh, that's Yoda's theme, I just realised. Yeah, it is. <laughs> in the sp in the Disney Disneyified specialised editions, they'll just stick Ray's theme in there as well. Just for really? a, just for a few beats. Just because fuck it, why not? McClunky. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't mind saying Padme is McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> From the way she is there, she's definitely got some junky in her McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, here's one. Quay. How does that work? <laughs> it's a solar sailor. Quay. <laughs> it's powered by Space Quake. Oh. How does this work? McClunky. <laughs> Not to be McClunky. The fuck did you say, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with McClunky, which means uh, fuck your mom's dead corpse. <laughs> That is a planet that has fucking died. Look at it. Look at the state of Coruscant. Just fucking ruined. Covered in smegma and fucking... <laughs> just, just, just fucking disgusting. How could he get there without being noticed? It doesn't make any sense. I would fucking die laughing if he, he went through one of those power coupling things. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like Christopher Lee being told to do this. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot it was there. <laughs> How come electricity turns Palpatine into a fucking old man but it leaves Anakin and Obi-Wan fine? Because reasons. <laughs> It's just fucking Sidious is just there. It's just fucking waiting in the corner, going like, "Ah, Dooku said he would." Five minutes later, he would say, "Said he would meet me here upon the hour." And it's five past the hour. <laughs> Fuck! I've been set up. McClunky. Fucking McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> McClunky, motherfucker! <laughs> like, look, 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 that's Jedi Hogwarts. Look at the state of it. Yep. The fuck? And why Coruscant of all places? Why don't the Jedi have their own planet? Uh, they did. It was Ark 2. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like, why the fuck is the Jedi Temple not there? 
Like, is that tow, right? Is that just like a big water planet and there's just one fucking island? Surely there's more land mass I, than that. I, I don't know. You would imagine so, but maybe it used to. Maybe it never used to be covered in water, but after time it did. You know, it's just all the tears that Luke Skywalker cried in his fucking exile. <laughs> oh, I failed. Thirty years <laughs> worth of man tears is just fucking obliterated the entire planet. That's not an island. That used to be a mountain. <laughs> oh, wow. A, a, a tiny little reference in A New Hope became something enormous. It's still fucking pointless. Like, I mean... Yeah. Like, the clone... fought with my father in the Clone Wars? This shouldn't be the Clone Wars. The clones should be like this disgusting, horrible race of mutant bastards that are trying to take over the galaxy. That that shouldn't be stormtroopers. Don't question it. Ah, oh, fuck. Where's Jar Jar? See that big blue bastard there? What the fuck ever yeah. happened to him? I think it was Palpatine's fuck buddy. Uh, but what happened to him? Is he still alive? Is um, he still out there somewhere? Did Palpatine get bored one while. day and just force choke him is to he death? Is he in the Shadows of the Empire? Is he? I think he is. Fucking shitty robot hand. <laughs> well, it's good for fingering. Mm, he's more caramel oh, now God, than man. Curly <laughs> and wily. Confectionary and evil. <laughs> She's got her hair braided as well, like Leia in episode 6. Get it? No, it's reference. Ugh. She's wearing that something. Right, see that fucking thing she's got in her head? That looks like something your mm. granny puts on a table <laughs> so it doesn't get scuffed. A doily. It looks like a. Yeah, it does look like a fucking doily. <laughs> That's what your granny would use as a tent. It's fucking hell. Fuck this movie. Why would they get married in front of the droids? I know. Especially 3PO. He tells everything. Though, in all fairness, though, if I could, I would get married at Lake Como. Because that's a fucking beautiful part of the world. And yeah. it's over. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. Jesus Christ. Right. Do you know Wait, what? where's Rick McCallum? There it is. Cunt. Rick. <laughs> yeah. No, Rick is missing a P at the start of his name. Prick McCallum. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking Hashtag hell. Prick McCallum. Hashtag Vagina. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, do you know what? It's been a couple of years since I last watched this. Uh, still shit, but do you yeah. know what? <laughs> Give it its credit. It's got good. It's got more entertaining moments in it than Phantom Menace has. Unfortunately, yeah. the rest of it is fucking insufferable. Yeah. <laughs> You and McGregor like, are top billing. When it's good, it's good. Even when it's bad, it's cancer. Yeah, like a Rick McCallum. Oh, um, Prick McCallum. <laughs> Prick McQueef. There you go. There's a good name for you. <laughs> oh. Who the fuck is called Pernilla August? Like, okay. How the fuck did Ahmed Best get the same level of billing as Tamara Morrison? Like, Jesus Christ. How did Samuel L. Jackson that far down? Oh, fuck. And Christopher Lee. What is happening? They couldn't even get the credits right. I know. Fuck's sake. Anyway, that's been a shit fest. What an absolute shit show of a movie. I keep forgetting, like, do we go through the credits on these commentaries, or...? No. Oh, on Disney Plus, it just recommended Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> because you watched Star Wars, it's like, do you know what? I'm taking a fucking picture of that. I'll send that to you. You can put it in the fucking video. Hang on. Hang on let me see. I, like, are you shitting me? The most basic bitch of a thing they can recommend. Go, I'm fucking sending that to you. Where's your Instagram? Well, it would have been weird if it was like, uh, you just watched Star Wars, recommend Simpsons. Her Herbie writes again. <laughs> <laughs> Fully loaded. Oh, God, I couldn't get through that. 
Really? Like, I tried so hard. Like, I mean, I watched all the Herbie movies the other day. Uh, Love Bug, Herbie Rides Again, Herbie Goes yeah. to Monte Carlo. Like, all <laughs> great classic little Disney movies. And then you get to... There's just something... I don't know what the fuck happened to Disney, but just halfway through the 90s, they just started spewing out the most absolute baseline shite. Like, yeah. I, At least I, most of the Pixar stuff is good. I watched the original Freaky Friday. I mean, they're live action movies. Like, uh, I watched the original Freaky oh, Friday. Right. It's one of my favorite movies. I love it. Yeah. Just Jodie Foster's performance. Mark McClure's in it before Superman. Uh, it's fucking, it's such a good movie. And Jodie Foster's acting her wee hard out in it. Then you get to the remake. Yeah. It's fucking awful. Like, I don't know what it is. Who's in that? Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. That's right, yeah. Like, I, I don't get what the fuck happens with remakes of movies at all. But it's it's like Ghostbusters. Like, yeah. <laughs> in the original, it's all so precise. Everything has its purpose. Everything has its moment. And it's just great. It's just storytelling to perfection. Even in Freaky Friday, you get to, like, I think it's the 15-minute mark, and they've already switched bodies. It takes them half yeah. an hour in the remake to switch bodies. I was just filled with guff. It's just absolute <laughs> shit. Yeah. And the whole point of it is, because in the remake, you see Lindsay Lohan as a teenager go to school. And you yeah. see, like, her day-to-day -day life and shit like that before you see the switch. And in the original, you didn't. You just saw them wake up that morning and they, they do the whole fucking thing where it's like, I wish I could switch places with her just for a day. And then, boom, they switch. So as the audience member, you don't know what the fuck's going on in the mum's life. You don't know what the fuck's going on in the daughter's life. So yeah. you feel that sense of confusion with the characters. Whereas in the remake, you already know what their lives are like. You know what they're all about. Yeah. And of course, Jamie Lee Curtis is the strong, independent female that doesn't need no man and all this carry on. So she's not like the original mum that was a housewife. And... The original takes a couple of swipes at, at um, feminism, too, because like she comes <laughs> out with one line and goes like, oh, your father is just a male chauvinistic pig. And he is. He's yeah. a dick. Like, he fucking pervs on his hot young bitch of a secretary and all this. Carry on. In the remake, they just shove that shit down your throat. So thanks very much, everyone, for listening to this audio commentary <laughs> of Freaky Friday. <laughs> we may have got we, we may have got confused halfway through <laughs> it started off as a Star Wars Attack of the Clones fucking commentary ended up as a Freaky Friday commentary if you enjoyed this commentary hashtag Frick McQueefum Frick McQueefum oh god uh, yeah I hope you enjoy this this is my favourite part of the movie blue text on a black starry background Nobody's going to watch till the end. <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, f f fuck. Nobody's going to watch. Hi, Anthony. I know you're <laughs> watching, boy -o. Well, actually, I think I have, like, 50-something views on the Phantom Menace one. Yeah, that's not bad. That only just got re-uploaded, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, this will probably... You'll, you'll have to explain, Listen. like, what the fuck happened, like, with Totally Truthful and Oak Nuts. Oh, the old channel was fucked. Why? I don't know. Every time I uploaded it, it wouldn't show up for another couple of months. So I figured, well, new channel, re-upload everything. Give me a chance to make it a bit look a bit nicer. Yeah, that's true. And there it is. It's all there now. So. Yep, and everyone can click through it at their leisure, and I'll share the shit out of it and stuff like that. Yep. And there we go, folks. Actually, my nose... That's it. My most viewed video is my uh, 10 years of Bert's accent video. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Though in all fairness, I did enjoy the piss out of the way you edited the uh, the Godzilla rant. The Godzilla, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, you do the zooming in thing. I, yeah. I should do that more. You actually should. And do you know what? Perfect timing as well, because my iPad has just said low battery. <laughs> Perfect. Right, everyone. We'll, we'll see thanks. you when we do Revenge of the Sith. We will indeed. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for this madcap adventure of quaifs and balconies of vaginas and 
Whatever the fuck else no, fuck happened off. in this movie. Yep. <laughs> Eat shit, everyone. Fuck you. Goodbye. Go back to quarantine. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker! <laughs> Mark Longke. Oh, and, and how can we forget? Fuck Anakin fucking his dead mother's corpse. <laughs>